What's up gamers? My name is John and I am a music and portrait photographer and videographer and e-girl. And today we are going to remove things that we don't like in a concert photo out of a concert photo. Let me explain. So let's say that you're photographing a concert and you're standing there in the pit and you're sniping out an awesome shot and you're waiting for that perfect moment where the band member gets into that perfect spot right at the perfect time and then you snap that perfect shot. But oh no, there's a microphone stand right in front of them or someone's arm is in the frame that's coming from somewhere else or maybe there's someone in the background uh, making a face that is completely distracting from the moment that you're trying to capture. Well, all of these things can be somewhat distractions from that moment that you are trying to capture. So let's get rid of them. Let me give you an example. Okay, so the photo that we are focusing on today is this shot of Alex Gasgarth hugging Austin Knight on stage at the Slam Dunk Music Festival. Austin went on stage during the last chorus of Break Your Little Heart and he sang the rest of the song with All Time Low. Now I knew this was going to happen and I had been planning for it all day. So I was posted up and ready to snag this shot and believe me, I was stoked when I saw this moment happening on stage. But as soon as I went down to take a look at that photo, I looked and the first thing that I noticed is that dang microphone stand. Now the photo is great on its own, don't get me wrong. Most people probably wouldn't even recognize that there is a microphone stand also in that photo. But imagine how sick it would be if this shot existed but without that pesky stand right there in front of them. Plus every single time that I look at this photo, it's literally the only thing that I see and I hate it and I want to get rid of it. Which probably makes this more of a me thing than it is a them thing, but I mean, photography be like that sometimes. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have two good boys on stage and yeah, I really, really do enjoy this photo, but I just really, really wanna get rid of this microphone stand. So in order to do that, we are going to start with the easy, sp <laughs> the easy part. The easy part is going to be uh, this part of the microphone stand right here. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is use the lasso tool. So I'm gonna hit L for lasso. And I'm gonna select this whole thing right here. Now again, there are a million different ways that you can go about this. This is just the way that I enjoy doing it. So we are going to just try this out and we're gonna hit content aware fill. We should be able to look on this little preview screen, see what it does. Uh, looks The preview looks good, I'm gonna select it. And with content aware fill alone, we haven't even gotten to any of the other manual spots. It completely got rid of that that stand just with one single with one single stroke you get rid of a big part right there and now we just got to continue moving on over here now it doesn't always work which is why you really need to just uh, is why you really need to do a lot of trial and error with these kinds of things, see which tools work, see which ones don't. That one did not really work out so well. Um, if I hit okay, you can kind of see that it sampled from parts of the photo that I didn't want, but that's okay because we are gonna go in and jump into a different tool. Now we're gonna go to the clone stamp tool. We can hit S to get the clone stamp tool. And with the clone stamp tool, you're going to use option or alt and you're going to select parts of an image that you would like to use in place of another part. So I'm going to sample this area over here and I'm going to just start painting on top of this microphone stand like so. Kind of brush it away and out of my life. Wish I could do that with other things, but I'm gonna continue going, continue going, continue going. Look how it just magically just disappears. Like nothing ever happened. Like it was never really there. Perfect. And I'm gonna go as far as I possibly can before I start overlapping on a part of the image that I wanna keep, which is the guitar head right over here. And I'm gonna look and I'm gonna say, all right, that looks pretty good so far. So we're gonna go into this section and we're gonna start doing the same thing, but we're gonna keep a lot of other things into consideration. So using the clone stamp tool, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna make my brush or my stamp a little bit smaller to get into some of those finer details. I'm gonna select somewhere nearby over here and kind of just blend these two together like so 
And in order to create this spot right here, basically I have to see what I have available in the in the photo to use in place of it. And there's a gap right here, and I know that the, there's a gap in between these two pegs, so I'm going to use, let's say, um, the gap between these two pegs right here, and I'm gonna sample this spot, and I'm gonna overlay it on top, and we're gonna pretend like that gap belongs to those tuning pegs instead of the other. So go through there, just like so. And then from here, I see these little, these little doohickeys right over here, these little pointy boys, and I'm going to sample one pointy boy, and I'm going to lay it on top of where the other pointy boy would be. So I'm gonna do that, select it, and then I'm just gonna use the surrounding area to fill in that gap. Now this part is going to be tricky because this right here is the Fender logo and I don't have enough detail and information in this photo in order to keep the Fender logo in there. So for right now, just for right now, we are going to sample other areas and we are going to just get rid of the logo overall. We may be able to salvage it here in a little bit, but even if we can't, that's gonna be okay because maybe no one will notice. <laughs> we'll see. And now we come to a spot that's gonna be a little tricky. What I'm noticing is that there's this little arch right here and I see another little arch and curve over here. So I'm going to sample this arch and curve right over here and I'm gonna lay it on top and I'm going to see how much I can use to recreate this spot. All right, cool. That worked out. Um, we're not we're we're not perfect just yet. We're getting there, but uh, we definitely have some stuff to work with now. Um, as you can see, obviously this doesn't line up perfectly. That curve is a little bit different than this curve right over here. But all Weez has to do is copy a spot that is a little bit more in line with everything, like that, for example. We're going to cover that up. We're gonna cover that up. Sample this spot Okay, so I'd say that we are exactly where we need to be. So far we got rid of the top of the microphone stand, we got um, a bit of the middle that was underneath the head, and then we got everything that was covering the head right there. Now I'd say that it's definitely far from perfect, but at from a glance right here, the job pretty much gets done. And if you're scrolling through, you wouldn't imagine that there was a microphone stand right here, uh, unless you saw this bit that we forgot and haven't, <laughs> haven't cut out just yet, but uh, for everything else, you wouldn't know that there was anything there because you're so drawn to what's going on on their faces right over there, and who can blame you? All right, now this part right here is going to be a little bit more complicated because there's a lot of information and details and things to consider. Um, we're getting rid of this part of the microphone stand that holds all of Alex's picks right over here. So sticking with the clone stamp tool, gonna go in and we're gonna repeat the same process that we did earlier, but essentially we're gonna take the different lines of folds in his sweater right over here and we're going to continue that all the way over here up until the spot that we would imagine be be the uh, the back be the back of his uh, of his sweater. Now I'm gonna speed this process up a little bit. Uh, this can get pretty tedious and it takes a lot of time and patience in order to make sure that everything looks as natural and as good as possible. So I'm gonna speed this up, watch along. If I do anything that isn't the clone stamp tool, I will pause it and say so. But uh, yeah, just uh, take a look at uh, what the clone stamp tool can do.
Okay, so there we are now. We are getting very, very close. The last thing that we have to do is continue this whole process down onto his pants. Now this may prove to be a little bit challenging because there is a lot of detail and there are a lot of things happening on his pants right now. Um, so I'm gonna speed this up again, but uh, just take a look and uh, we'll see uh, how far we can get. Alright, that'll just about do it. I was a little bit nervous, to be honest, about attacking those wild pants um, because there's just so much going on in there, but it actually kind of turned out to be a little blessing in disguise. Um, with so much pattern and so much activity and all that stuff happening around here, it kind of makes it a little bit more tricky or a little bit more difficult in order to uh, see what is <laughs> what is real and what isn't. Um, as you can tell, you know, there are a little discrepancies here and there if you really want to go pick through every single thing then by all means you can go basically all the way until you feel that it is absolutely done for me and for this example right here I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it a day I think that looks really good uh, especially when you're looking at it from a position like this and especially if it's going to be on Instagram or just you're gonna be viewing it on a phone you know it's kind of bothering me just a tiny tiny little bit that there is no fender logo right Right here um, now that I'm looking at this photo my attention is drawn to that so I have an idea so what we can do is we can look at a different photo taken at that same time and look for one that actually has what we're <laughs> what we're needing um, in this example um, in this take we actually can see the whole fender logo right there so I'm gonna take the lasso tool and I'm going to wrap around that right there I'm gonna copy it by hitting command C and then from here I'm going to command V and paste it <laughs> right there I'm gonna drag that guy right over here all right so now we have the information there but obviously as you can see it's a lot lighter than the rest of the guitar right here so I'm just going to uh, hit that stamp tool and I'm going to sample oh my goodness okay okay hold on hold on all right let's let's get back in here so I'm gonna sample the area around it and I am going to fill in all of the space that isn't the actual text itself now there might be other blending options and blending modes I mean if I go up here to uh, let's say darken that works as well as you can see it basically just go covers over the uh, the lighter parts of the image. Actually, that ended up working out a lot better than I than I thought it was going to be. A lot of this is truly, truly, truly trial and error. I've done this on other photos. Darken worked then, so I figured it might work again this time. Boom! <laughs> right there. There's the Fender logo back in its in its place. So we started with this image right here. Already a great shot. I'm loving the emotion that we're seeing right here. I'm loving a lot of things that are happening. I just really did did not love this microphone stand. So literally with just using the stamp tool for about 99% of everything and then using a couple of other things uh, to cover up all of this other mess, we went from this all the way to this guy right here. So that's it. It's very easy stuff once you know what tools are available for you to use to accomplish what you need, um, which can be said about most things in life, really. I know it might be as simple as just clone stamping and spot healing and things like that, but sometimes the most obvious things are hard to see. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope that you can find it useful for whatever work it is that you do, but also please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I've been pretty much streaming every single week on here <laughs> lately uh, so um, also hit that notification button right there if you want to be made aware of when that happens and also let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future all right that's all bye